Welcome back, everyone. Hope you've all had a beautiful, what day is it, Monday? Beautiful it's last Monday. week. <laughs> Grand start to this week. It's a Monday. Mm. And what a Monday it's been. Whoa. I got all stomach sick this morning. They don't need to know that. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it's been a rough day. <laughs> Today's uh, smoothies, however, are raspberry, yeah, raspberry um, mango. They also don't need to know that. They do. The okay. smoothie update is important. It's <laughs> Hope everyone's doing good. Um, so we obviously are starting something new today, and I'm going to put new in quotes because technically we've already played some of this game. I'm not really sure how much of this game. We played an hour of this game. Well, we played an hour of this game, but I mean percentage of the game. I don't know how much we played. Uh, we're going to be playing Grimm's Hollow today, which actually came out last October, um, which is a cute play. came out October 2019. Did it? It did. Mm -hmm. I did my research. Did you? About 12 seconds before we went live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but uh, it did come out October last year. Cute little game. Um, RPG style, very RPG maker kind of game. Um, and I forgot the name already. Hunted Ghost? Haunted Ghost? Ghost Hunter? Ghost Hunter is the developer. I apologize. <laughs> um, I thought you did your research 12 seconds you know, before you, you turned know, the cam on. Doesn't stick all the time. All the time. All the time. At all. Um, but we had a lot of fun with it last time, and we did only get an hour into it. Um, obviously, we get a two-hour stream today, so hopefully we'll see how far we can get. Um, we will be playing with a... Um, I'll be playing this time. Ginger played last time. Yeah, so because he skipped over this, oh. um, the you thing know, you that happened was that, no, because it's rude to talk over other people. The thing that happened was this is part of the lost footage from the very first stream that we did. We played this game amongst others, and we played everything else that we had played that day, but we hadn't gotten back around to Grimm's Hollow yet. Um, True. So this is in fact part of the lost footage. This is the last yeah. game from the lost footage. Yep, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we'll be wrapping up the lost footage. Obviously, that was back in April. We've been streaming for a whole month now. Yay! Mm. <laughs> um, played a variety of indie games. Um, if you guys want to check out any, be sure to down below in the play section, um, or if you want to check out the follow up, so that's down there today too. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, that's down there. Um, and I guess without further ado, we'll kind of get into it here. Do you have any updates or anything you wanted to give? I know that the Steam sale is still going on. Steam sale is still going on for Andy Mega Booth games through tomorrow. Tomorrow, today is the 11th. Yeah, mm -hmm. tomorrow through tomorrow. Um, so if you're watching today, be sure to go check that out. Ton yeah. of great games. We've pillaged through quite a bit of those, and there's a few more I think I'm still going to pick up. They've got 150 titles, I think is what they say oh, wow. they have, um, that are experiencing some kind of discount. And I believe that's from 10 to 90%, but don't 100% quote me on that because I don't remember for sure. But there's 150 titles of Indie Mega Booth games that are on sale. For some level of discount, which is fabulous. Which is awesome. So, please go check them out and support some videos. Also, um, if you might want to watch our Twitter for this, we're going to be getting more updates as we get them on um, Indie, uh, which we call World Order, um, is going to be doing an indie convention, it looks like. Um, and they keep kind of putting out small things about that. So as we get more information, we'll tell you about that. Hopefully we'll be able to let you know when that comes around. Have you around. been following that? I have, yeah. There hasn't been too much new release. The last we heard of it was about a week ago. We got some more updates. Um, they do have their website open if you want to um, register to join or stream or whatever it is you do. Um, or just because you or like just games. You like games. Or if you're a developer, they're looking for devs to also show off their games too. So they are great. They always are posting amazing content on their Twitter as well, so be sure to check them out. That's Indie World Order. Um, yeah. So, a lot of cool stuff happening in the indie world. There's gonna be a new one, too. Now that we've got another convention, we're finding out just now, breaking news. No, it's not. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what it is all day. Oh. Um, there's, uh, there's gonna be a thing called Gorilla Collective. In case you have not seen it all over Twitter, because many of the big studios are posting strange pictures. Um, 
looks like it's going to be... Oh, is that the yellow thing that yep. I keep saying? Ah, ha, ha. It's called Gorilla Collective from June 6th through the 8th. They're going to do um, game reveals and announcements in a digital format, which is going to be great. So That's awesome, which is really cool. I mean, obviously, we talked about this before, but the fact that since we can't really do a lot of convention stuff right now, the fact that they're doing a lot of more digital conventions and they're really pushing a lot of the indie... Um, yeah. Developed games is really awesome, and obviously they're still doing stuff like 24-hour like gameathons and stuff like that, where they, uh, what you call it, develop like you know short games in um, a short period of time for a lot of like university-style stuff. Which, I mean, while we don't do a lot of university games on here, at least we haven't yet, um, that's really where a lot of this stuff bases like starts from. So um, definitely check out a lot of those stuff. Uh, be sure to check out the uh, Steam sale and we'll give you more information as cons come up with us. Sounds good? Solid. <laughs> Let's do this. Alrighty, I'm gonna hop over here. So um, this does play in a cyber browser so we've got the weird square screen today um, but it is a cute little game and I have to move some things around here because I'm not playing with my controller today. I'm gonna play with the Which he doesn't like. Which I don't like. I'm not a keyboard player. Just so everybody is aware. Ginger is much more a keyboard player than I am. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to begin from a the new beginning, one. Friend. Also, do you have uh, music for the game right now? Yes. Do you? It's just very soft it's right very now. very soft, okay. Oh, there it is. I'm going to move it up just a hair. We can adjust this as time goes on, too, because I don't know if this is going to get louder when we start getting into uh, battles and stuff, but Z to continue. Z to interact, X to cancel, open them to move around. Okay, that didn't. Pretty that a little bit. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we played on casual the last time. Yeah, because we weren't sure how it was. Because we weren't sure how it was played. I feel comfortable enough, I think, to play on normal, especially since I have you, the RPG queen. Um, I, I think the, between the two of us, we can oh, do it. Oh, was I going to help you? I didn't know I was going to help you. You better I help me. <laughs> Make random commentary, as is my want. Regular mode, Groom Solo, is recommended for those to have some experience with turn-based combat or prefer more difficult battles. Do you have experience with turn-based combat? I have combat? very little. You have it. We did uh, recently. I like turn-based combat. You love turn-based combat. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna pick this mode. We did recently play, uh, or I, I recently played the demo for She Dreams Elsewhere, which is a uh, turn-based RPG. Um, did you hate it? I didn't, no. Um, they, they did a really good job at, like, it, it was very much a casual play style. No, so, not yeah. the game. Did you hate the turn-based combat? That's what I'm saying. No. It was very, like, casual, like, they didn't, like, throw me in and, like, you know, fend for yourself kind of play. That's good. Wake up, sorry. Um, I mean, it was a demo, but I would definitely check out uh, She Dreams Elsewhere, too. Yeah, it's actually a really beautiful game. Welcome, it's very, New Reaper. It's very Undertale style. It is very Undertale which, style, but very trippy. I'm gonna hate announcing this. I've never played Undertale. You haven't. And I, uh, I feel like I am missing so much. <laughs> I forgot. I like there's I so judge. many voices in this. <laughs> yeah. We're so happy to have you join us. It's been such a long time since we've seen a new face. Wah. -wah. We're lavender, by the way. Um, yeah, I didn't get into adorable. it at all. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this down a tiny bit in my ear, at least. And I'm also gonna turn it down just a tiny bit in your ears. Let me know if it needs to be higher or lower. But um, you're basically, you're playing a girl who has died and she is now becoming a reaper um, and uh, looking for the soul of her brother. Um, they explain say, all of that. They do, but I, I mean, just to give the, the pre-cap, it's not a recap. What <laughs> the the overview? I guess. What? Oops. I'm still connected to the other window. Let's try this. Who are you, people? Where are you, new friends? New friend. <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> I would too. Wait. I don't have my phone. The scariest thing of all: waking up without your phone. Why is she acting like that? Is that the scariest thing of all, waking up without your phone? I mean, it's not nice. If I, if I woke, well, I wouldn't wake up without my phone, because it's also my alarm, so I just wouldn't wake up. <laughs> Groove hasn't 
given her the lowdown yet, remember? Oh. Good thing we have balloons. Everyone loves balloons. <laughs> Let me tell you. Where are my balloons? Balloons don't make everything better. Crap. Everyone, shoo. Ah, Grim, must we? No parties are to be thrown until the newbie is initiated. Which sounds so forceful. And no party is to be thrown without me. Especially with my balloons. Ugh. Come on now, everyone. Out. Eee. There'll be cake later. It's such a cute game. Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> So obviously we've played this through once. I think we'll probably point out where we've gotten to once we've gotten to it, but. Uh, I am so sorry they scared you, if they scared you. They're a bit overwhelming. What is happening? Right, I'll just get straight to it. You're dead. Huh? You're dead. No, I heard you, but. <laughs> Why are they... I'm sorry. Why are you here? Well, unfortunately, your spirit isn't strong enough to move on. You're weak and pathetic. <laughs> here at Grim's Hollow, spirits such as yourself help deliver ghosts to become stronger. Why do you sound like a telemarketer? <laughs> ghosts? Because he's advertising Grim's Hollow. <laughs> I don't People think death is spirits. a telemarketer. <laughs> what? I don't think death is a telemarketer. I, he can be many things. I don't think he's a telemarketer. <laughs> People whose spirit uh, is too strong, making them uh, frenzied in... Ooh, so, wow, let's try that again. People whose spirit is too strong, making them frenzied and unwilling to go. We reap those, and uh, it's a topic for another time. For now, you need to rest. There are fresh robes for you on the bedside cabinet. The local baker also has been kind enough to give you some donuts and cookies free of charge. Unfortunately, we don't have milk. Because it is basically hell. <laughs> Wait. It's not hell. I know. <laughs> Without milk, it could be. <laughs> Do you know where my brother is, Timmy? Sorry, little one. I don't know a Timmy. But if I meet a Timmy, I will let you, I will tell you. Have a good rest. <laughs> I can't stay here. This may be some sort of weird cult. That's exactly that's, what I Yeah, that's, that, I think before we even got to that line, before we are like, yep. this is a cult. It's a cult. <laughs> I you, should put on the robes You so wake I can up surrounded blend. by a bunch of people in robes and, balloons. and skull masks and, and balloons. balloons. The balloons. And you're in a room with off. seven other beds. I have a feeling there's a cult. Look at me. I'm adorable. Yeah. I'm so adorable. I also like the faces on the uh, yellow balloons. Well, yeah, um, so we're going to go over face. here. Fresh robes, Reaper mask, two delicious donuts, and three spooky cookies. Yeah, and you need all of those things. I love it. I got my little mask and everything. There was nothing else in here that we found before. Just being a little thorough. Because there's some stuff that we know. It's locked! <sighs> of course. Psst! Hey! I can help you. I saw Timmy in a cave. Cave? Yes! It's where the Reapers go to reap. Oh god. Don't worry. He was safe the last time I saw him. Where can I find him? Which way? Just go left to the exit of town, then head into the first cave you see. You'll find him in there. But do me a favor and don't tell anyone I was here, yeah? You know, these reapers? I'm a reaper now. These reapers, you people. They're kind of nuts. <laughs> I unlocked the door for you. Good luck. Security's not really great if a ghost can unlock a door. No, not really. <laughs> Though I don't feel like a lot of people would break in. It doesn't seem to be... Oh. Oh, we did go over here before. Hmm, me? I'm just trying to look out the window. I've never seen a view like this when I was alive. Window. No sun, no moon, no concept of time, night, or day. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. 
but you accomplished it regardless. Sorry, I don't want to talk. I'd hate to wake up my partner. He needs to restore his willpower. That's our intro to willpower. <laughs> Just got in bed with him. <laughs> hey, so <laughs> Can I sleep with you? Hey, what's up? <laughs> um, are you trying to make me move a move on me? <laughs> you can't tell whether they're asleep or awake. That is hilarious. We didn't do that last time. No. I love RPGs. Oops. Didn't mean to go in there. I had to go down. Front desk. Welcome to Grim's Hollow. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty. So, last time we checked, this is what we... Uh, no, we got to this. This ends up... Uh, yeah, we, I, won't, I won't spoil it. It's not really a spoil, but... But right is not the direction we want to go. We want to go left. And here's the baker. <clears throat> hey, yeah. Want to get this bread? Chat, shop, or leave. So... It does have a uh, obviously a shop system. There's different cookies, Morden muffins, chocolate cake, mork, which is exactly what you think it is, milk, misspelled. <laughs> Basically, anything you need is here. How do I? How's that sort of... Let's chat with him. <clears throat> have you seen Timmy? Are you a reaper? Why is there a bakery here? Let's ask the important questions first. Why is there a bakery here? <laughs> Reapers don't need to eat to survive. I don't know. But that even if we're dead, question. that is the important question. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. We still get tired. A reaping can be very draining. If it's a difficult one. So uh, a, I spell, I'm sorry, I sell bread that restores willpower heart during a reaping. This way, Reapers don't faint of exhaustion. They get to spend more time collecting spirit energy star from ghosts. All I ask in return is a small portion of spirit energy star, so then one day I can pass on myself. That's the agreement Grim and I made when we were discussing opening up the bakery. Grim's job is, after all, to make sure everything in the hollow passes on. Though really, it didn't take too much convincing uh, Grim to let me bake instead of reap. All I had to do was give him a taste. Okay. Are you a reaper? Technically speaking, I am. I don't have enough spirit energy star to pass on. But I do reap any ghosts I prefer to... I'm sorry, I don't reap any ghosts I prefer to bake. So I call me Baker. Please. Have you seen Timmy? Sorry, but there's no reaper called Timmy in the hollow. You can trust me on that one. I know all my customers. Uh, who's asking anyway? Uh, no one? Okay. So we know a little bit more about willpower, and we know a little bit less about, or about it's the same amount about nothing about Timmy. Um, this is a balloon <laughs> that I can't speak to because it's a balloon. Oh, hello. My friend and I were supposed to meet at the bakery and eat some pastries, but I think hes they've stood me up. Now it's just me and my new friend, the balloon. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that was a mean move, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I had forgot about that. I'm trying to eat a donut. Go away. I'm trying to eat a donut. Go away. I'm trying to eat a donut. Go away. What do you got? I just talked to everyone. Hey, broski. I've been thinking. If this is all we eat, how are we able to process all this sugar? Shouldn't we be fat from all these carbs or something? There's no such thing as carbs when you're dead. Now shut up and eat your cake. Words to live by. All right, so it was the first cave we came to, right? Yes, it's the first cave. So there's that up there. There's this. Oi, get up. The Reaper prods his partner with the butt of his scythe. Up, now. Don't want him. Too tired. <laughs> and then there's this guy. Sorry, my cave's closed. Okay, so there's another cave down there. It's burning with exploding ghosts, large gaps, and broken bridges. Until Grim finishes restoring it, this area is off limits. I can be cool with that. And then there's this one. 
Waterfall cavern. Please note the cave is slippery and damp. Take extra caution when cr uh, crossing puddles. This cave is open to all reapers. Grim. Sucks. We need to go to the first one. What is the first one? Ghastly cavern. This cave is void of terror. Uh, sorry. Yeah, territorial hazard. Save from all initiated reapers. Grim. <clears throat> it's dark in here. I guess I'll have to take off the mask. Timmy, are you here? Ah! Wow, what a fresh face. You must be a newbie. Y yes, I am. <laughs> Can you help me? Do you want to do any of the voices? Nope, I'm are you enjoying <laughs> you <joined Yeah>. in? <laughs> I'm just listening to you do it. It's fun. If you're looking for another reaper in here, you'll need a scythe. Here, take mine. Thanks, but why? Oh, heads up. Oh, right into it. Yeah. Should I teach you how to fight? Nah. Yeah. I'm gonna do yeah mostly for you guys. It's totally not for me. It's so you can see how the combat system works. Not because I forgot. It's 100%. <laughs> That's a ghost, <laughs> by the way. Unlike us, it has way too much star spirit energy, I see. <laughs> we need to reap that energy right off of it. Wait, what? Why? It can't pass on otherwise, poor thing. All the energy's tormenting it. Now, pay attention. And start swinging to start reaping. Okay, so I have swing and special. You have to select oh, first. You gotta select first, okay. So, I, I know it wants me to do that. Right now, I just have Pierce for a, uh, a special. And I have the cookies and donuts that I picked up. So, go ahead and I gotta select two. Oh, that's right, this thing. Typing matters when swinging. Please, Presley, I gave, I gave Ginger so much shit for this last time. <laughs> she couldn't hit the center. I'm not gonna be able to do it either. Press the down uh, arrow right in the center uh, once the scythe starts moving for a good swing. Oh, oh, I'm a master. <laughs> That's gonna come back to bite me. <laughs> Smoothie. You're gonna get up and leave. I'm sorry. And you're gonna play this by yourself. Look at the blue bar. <laughs> Reaping with your scythe brings out your spirit's fire special power. You don't have to. <laughs> but it doesn't stay for long after a. Thank you for telling me that. I was. <laughs> So let's make good use of it by pressing special. Okay, so I gotta press first and then do special. And I have Pierce. Uh, do an attack with, uh, which ignores defense. Nice hit. Uh oh, that ghost is preparing a special attack. Press down once the blue bar reaches the boot to dodge it. Basically, like the boot isn't there, it skips to the other side. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Yep, yeah. I can do great at that. <laughs> I don't dodge, anyways. It's all it's all offense, no need. <laughs> Looks like you've got to hurt. Your willpower has gone down. You can go to your pocket and eat some food to restore your willpower. If your willpower is zero, you'll pass out. Well, that's about it. So we're getting a bit of a backlog that we gotta upload to YouTube. So if you guys uh, go over there now and subscribe, um, you'll be getting a bunch of new, uh, yeah, new content very soon. Like <clears throat> tonight, <clears throat> tomorrow, <clears throat> the next day. I feel like he's lying to you. Don't it's, it's, it's all I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Once the ghost has the right amount of spirit energy, it will pass on and stop bothering you. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. The last thing you did was put up Tangle Tower. Yep. Tangle Tower. We only have two things. No. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, I forgot to. Okay, so five is my base hit. The 
ghost faded away. I did it, Ginger. I got you two did. spirit energy and I did a reaping. What was the flash just then? That means your spirit energy question. Six and seven aren't in the playlist. Oh, you might need to get connected. I'll take care of it later. Gosh, I'm sorry. Play now. You just play your game. I'll make nonsense over here. Tell me I'm messing up the YouTubes and mm -mm, mm -mm. playlist. That's not what I said. I said are six and seven just not here. No, they're there. They're just they're just not of the playlist. Okay. <laughs> Didn't say you messed it up. I may have in fact messed it up. I'll take a look later. <laughs> Reaper, that means your spirit has collected some spirit energy. Close your eyelids. Because this this is what happens when I close my eyelids. You look. Uh yeah, obviously. What? If you close you your eyes, your you see your RPG map. I don't understand. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the uh, breakdown of the RPG, and I'll kind of. You're explain gonna it. skip the breakdown of the skills tree? I am. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I shouldn't hold why. That's very brave. I'm sorry. We've we've gone through it before. I'll explain it. But... <sighs> anyways, I shouldn't hold you up. Go find your Timmy. I'm sure he's missing you. If you ever have any extra, uh, need any extra help, I'll be around. And don't worry about dying. We're all dead. We're already dead. Ha ha ha. That's a good point. We we didn't die at all last time, so we actually don't know what happens if you do die or if you pass out. Okay. No. When you faint. When you faint. Yeah. Okay. So my first encounter. I love the sprites for the ghosts. Pocket manual save, load settings, lavender spirit. Okay, so basically it's an upgrade tree. Um, each uh, thing has, like we go to, it gives you a breakdown of what you need in order to upgrade it. Um, you can learn more information about what it actually does. In this case, resilience, double your defense for the best, uh, sorry, for the rest of the reaping. So in battle, if you use that as your special, um, it will double your defense for the rest of that battle. Um, we found out last time that they can keep up for keep upgrading and upgrading and yeah, upgrading. Exactly. We actually don't know. There's a couple things that are buys, and I believe it's the ones like this one. Red flames. Info. Uh, this flame is... No, no, I think this one can even be upgraded too. I don't know if there are any just buys. Special one to eight. Enhance. That's a three. Oh, sorry. Uh, one to three. Okay, uh, we have only two right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do any of that. We'll go through this and then I think we'll take a look afterwards. I just dodged, I made a judge. The sprites are so cute. They are so cute. Okay, I got hit with two sides. Um, we're gonna go him first. Flame they are. 
because there's a different attack that'll take blue yeah, ones or purple ones or red ones. But I think there was a, um, a, a red one and a blue one that did that shield attack. Or uh, not really an attack. Four energy. Okay. Because of Carol. Because of Carol. Freaking Carol. Freaking Carol. Hey, what's up? I heard there was a ghost wall around here. But I have poked and prodded in this wall with my scythe and nothing's happening. Please note that ghost caves sometimes have ghost walls. These are illusionary walls which hide secret entrances. You can make them disappear by facing the wall and pressing Z. Try not to get lost, Grim. Chicky Wong. Oh, that's right. Okay, we'll go, we'll go through here first. Can I? Oh. Gotta take on this ghost. Yes. Jerry. So Jerry. Okay, so I have to take on Jerry. First. Jerry's with the shield. Yeah, yeah, because he does that. Yeah. Um, He's kind of a jerk. Uh, I was just yeah. gonna say. So seven, that's a good one. Jerry. Right. Jerry. You prod the reaper with the butt of your stick. Ugh. Huh, did I pass out? Oh no, that means I'm late. I'm supposed to be at the bakery. Thank you so much for finding me. Yep. Here's a reward for your trouble. Hand one delicious donut, one spooky cookie. 